Sarah Noah and his stalwart allies prove their mettle against the realm's fiercest warriors before finally facing Sir Maxwell, victor of the previous tourney. After a hard-fought match, the Dawn Spear emerges victorious once more. Though beaten in the end, Sarah Noah's courageous display impresses itself upon all in attendance. Any doubts concerning House Wolfort's martial might are put to rest. Thus marks an end to the tourney and the festivities as a whole. With the spirit of harmony in their hearts, the delegates of each nation make preparations for their return voyages. Seeing our honored guests off shall be your last lordly duty this day. Now, I remind you. It is not to be taken lightly. Worry not, Benedict. They shall be sent off with all the pomp they deserve. You take to your new role well, Lord Serenoa. As I must now take to my own. Pray, visit me at the mines whenever you have the time. Well, Frederica, may we never meet again. Thank you for such a productive use of our valuable time. I do so love interminable speeches and watching brutes play at war. Truly, the spirit of Glenbrook was on display for all to see. <sighs> oh, but I should watch my tongue. Wouldn't want her to go whimpering to brother. Hey, my fool cousin, no mind. We have work to do. Work more important than any he could hope to be trusted with. I apologize for those two. This was a fruitful day for all in attendance. I am glad to hear you say so, General of Laura. I can't believe we lost. I thought you were supposed to be one of Hyzant's greatest warriors. Our foe was a worthy one. It would be an honor to cross blades again someday. Thank you for your hospitality. Please give my regards to Lord Simon. Of course, Minister. It would seem everyone is gathered. You'll find your boats are laden with a bounty of Glenbrook's finest wares and victuals. King Regna asks that you eat and drink your fill, and toast to our three nations' newfound alliance. More of that swill you call wine? I suppose I could force myself to partake. Your king honors us with his generosity. We shall present these as offerings to the goddess of salt. The Hierophant, too, will no doubt be overjoyed. Lord Wolford, I bring a message from King Regna. He would have you join our guests on their return voyage to serve as their envoy. This is a great honor, my lord. You would represent our nation and speak with the king's voice. If it is His Majesty's wish, it is a duty I will gladly accept. But there are two vessels and only one of me. Did King Regna say which of our honored guests I should accompany? He would leave that decision to you, Lord Wolford. Lord Falks, as representative of another of Glenbrook's high houses, will board the ship you do not. And why was House Telior not given this honor? Last I knew, our kingdom had three high houses, not two. The mere fact that you whimper those words before us is answer enough. <sighs>
Good show at the tourney, Lord Saranoa. You truly are your father's son. The king has seen fit to leave this decision in your hands, and I shall not gainsay his wisdom. A lord must be worldly as well as wise. I trust you will conduct yourself as befits the lord of a high house. Thank you, Sir Maxwell, Lord Falks. The king has entrusted this decision to you, my lord. I suppose you have an idea as to why. He means to test my judgment. He is waiting to see which I choose and for what reason. Indeed. We are friendly with both nations now, so neither choice will earn his ire. That said, there is no telling how these relations may change going forward. No doubt, the choice you make will have an effect on our own house's relationship with the nation you choose. I understand. This requires careful consideration. Benedict, gather the others. I would hear their opinions on the matter. Then we shall consult the scales of conviction. At once, my lord. It seems your first test as Lord has come. Tis no small matter either. Indeed, but I needn't face it alone. I would ask each of you where you think we should go and why. State your case before the scales of conviction. Then we shall decide our destination. We take a vote and the consensus determines our action. Is that it? That is correct. So long as my allies walk by my side, their opinions carry equal weight to mine. Such is the way of House Wolfort. As Lord, I shall bear the weight of consequence for the Scales' decision, whatsoever they may be. You are more serious than usual, my friend. He understands what it means to be Lord of his house. Well, I hope you have room for a stowaway, because I'm going to. In secret, of course. I trust the new Lord Wolfort will handle the ponderous negotiations and diplomacy with grace. Your Highness, you cannot be... You may stay ashore if you wish, Huet. You know I cannot allow that. If you insist on going, then I shall attend you. Well then, it would seem the matter is settled. There is exactly one coin for each of us. It seems fate has conspired to bring balance to our proceedings. How curious. Curious? I see it as a sign that the heavens approve of my joining you. You are ever the optimist, my friend. Shall we proceed, my lord? One coin, one vote. Very well. I would hear each of your thoughts on the matter in turn. Then you shall place your coin upon the scales of conviction and illuminate the road ahead.
Lord Serenella. I am decided. Say. Listen, lad. Lord Serenoa, hello. Possibly. My mind is made up. Lord Serenella. Thank you. 
then. Lord Saranoa. It is time to cast our votes. Do we journey to the Grand Duchy of Esfrost or the Holy State of Hyzant? Approach the Scales of Conviction with your token at the ready. You make a convincing argument, my lord. I wholeheartedly agree. I have no qualms with that. You have my vote. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. The way forward is decided. We journey to Esfrost. We have decided. We set sail for Esfrost. Whether or not it proves to be the right choice will depend on our actions. I trust in you all. We are ready to set sail, Lord Patriot. Very good, my lord. When you pay respects to the Archduke, remember that you do so on behalf of our king. Archduke Gustadoff will be pleased that you chose to honor our nation with a visit. I'm sure he is eager to get to know his new brother-in-law as well. The feeling is mutual, I assure you. Does this mean she is coming back too? I feel myself getting sick already. That swill they call wine will taste even more vile now, I fear. <sighs> My lady. Are you sure you wouldn't prefer to stay at Castle Woolfort? Nonsense. I am coming with you.